Hello, welcome to Cooking with the Cajun, and today we're going to go over our sears all that we got from Booker and Dax. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Make sure you read these instructions carefully. So on the box right here, there's a warning. It says initial instructions must be followed before using the Searsall. Instructions are in the box and online at www.searsall.com. It's very important that you follow the instructions carefully so you season your Searsall correctly. We have the initial use instructions. Inside the bag we have a limited warranty. what to do, what not to do, and some more instructions with some pictures that show you how to do everything with your sears all, the do's and don'ts. We have an Allen wrench. We have a little spacer. The gap is a 1 8 inch gap. So if you lose this piece of wood, you need a 1 8 inch gauge to, to properly set your gap and you'll be good to go. Inside of a sealed bag, we have the Searsall itself with the little insert inserted into the Searsall that has to be mounted on your torch. I have the burns matic TS-8000. The screens are pre-inserted into the Searsall. You have a front screen and you have a rear screen. The rear screen is coated with palladium. So this is the front end of the Searsall. One thing you want to make sure is when you mount your sears all that it's level, straight up and down here, and straight across, and this is at the bottom and it's even. Very important that you follow that. And you'll see there's a little marker here for what's supposed to be straight up and down. You see that right there. If you notice, there's a piece of tape right here that holds that little insert into the Searsall. So you release the screw and you have to remove this piece of tape. Take the tape off and you see there's an Allen head at the bottom. We're just going to tighten it a little bit. Just a little bit of pressure so we can get everything aligned properly. It's going to let us align our gap perfectly. So we're going to let it fall down on the piece of wood, tighten it. We're going to screw it onto our camping size Coleman fuel bottle. So once we have the sears all centered with the torch head, head, the handheld torch, which is right here, one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this gap is perfect. We want to make sure that this bushing is attached tightly and firmly to the torch head. Once we have that firmly attached, we're going to loosen this screw, take the wedge out, and it's ready to go. So it's important when you season the sears all that you hold it down perfectly, straight up and down, so the flames straight up and down inside the torch head. If not, it will not season properly. You have to do this for two minutes straight. We're going to go set up so we can season it in a safe environment. We'll be right back. So hello everyone. Here we are outside. We're going to 
season the sears all outside in a safe environment for two minutes. I'm going to set my phone to two minutes and ten seconds. When it hits two minutes, I'm going to light the sears all and let it count down two minutes and then we'll be done. Ladies and gentlemen, we just successfully seasoned our sears all outside in a safe environment. We set it for two minutes and 12 seconds. When it got to two minutes, we started it and we're good to go. Now we're going to let it cool off for a little while and we'll be back to show y'all how it looks. Say hello, Bella. <laughs> hello, this is the Cajun. Whoa, look out. My Sears all is seasoned and ready for its first use. It's seasoned, it's ready to go. Look, it's a little discolored now. You can see it. It's not totally so, but it's still warm, not hot, because it's been seasoned. In our next video, we're gonna make something with the sears all that's gonna be our next cooking video so stay tuned subscribe to our channel click the little bell so you can get alerts when we upload a video and the next video is gonna be a surprise we're gonna use our sears all for the first time we're gonna cook something then we're gonna finish it with the sears all stay tuned leave some comments below if there's something you wanna see a demonstration on with the sears all and i'll be glad to demonstrate it but we're excited can't wait stay tuned for the next video happy fourth of july we want to thank all who served all of our veterans who gave it all so we could have the freedoms we have and that we enjoy and you know you can't thank veterans enough who fought for our country for our freedoms and to all who fought, thank you. Happy 4th of July. Hope everyone has a safe 4th of July. Thanks again. We, we appreciate everyone who subscribed to our channel. We just hit 50. It's a young channel. We just started it a few weeks back. We have up to 50 subscribers. That's awesome. And uh, we, we appreciate all the interaction, the comments that folks are leaving. And we're learning as we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know, every week we're learning something new. This is new for us. We're going to learn how to use the Sears all. Going to make some exciting videos in the near future with our Sears all. So stay tuned.
and thanks again. We're enjoying our Sears all. Have a good day. Thanks. Cajun.